Hello, everybody. My name is Ricardo Dennis. I'm the Global Artistic Director for Haircutting, and I'm with the global team here at Aveda Congress in Minneapolis. And we want to just talk to you guys a little bit about our show, which was called World Hood. And, you know, a lot of us are putting shows together, and sometimes it's a little complicated to figure out what the process is, so we thought we would take you through that. So I know for me and the team, the most important thing that we start off with is actually collecting images and putting a mood board together because inspiration is kind of the emotional part and it really locks in and hones in and focuses exactly where you want to be. It also helps to kind of give you some direction in terms of what you want to be looking at spending and looking at in terms of budget because that's also very important. Um, I think the guys will all talk about their own things and their own experiences in terms of the show, so I'll pass it over to to me all right hi guys so yeah you know i think it was a great setup for what we did for this collection because we did want to do something a little bit different we wanted to hit on some trends that are happening right now which is diy so we wanted to really authentically do it ourselves so when we come, came up with our mood boards we wanted to tie it to aveda so we use vintage clothing or use clothing from different places that we bought in our local communities to support our local communities we took it and we embellished it and we customized each of our looks to really make it our own and also save some money, you know, so we've been getting, you know, am amazing feedback from our collection and people are like, oh my God, can I buy this? And we're kind of like, actually, yeah, because our fingers really hurt from crafting <laughs> <laughs> and we're really tired. And I'm not going to lie, it started out as a really fun project and a really team building project. Yeah. Like we would send each other, you know, messages on Instagram. And then there was a point where like, I don't want to do this anymore. My fingers hurt. And there's a workman's comp after this. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it was such a team building thing and really a great authentic story. And it shows you that even if you don't have, you know, your McQueen, you can create your own version of McQueen um, by just doing it yourself. So that's kind of was a fun team building project. And we'll definitely pass this on so we can see the rest of the collection from the team. It's the lack of money that makes you more creative. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But I would like some more money too. Thank you. <laughs> We'd all like some more money. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I'm, I'm based <laughs> <laughs> I'm based in the, the UK, so I'm obviously not with the guys all of the time. So one thing that is crucial I always think is communication. So these guys were talking about how funny it was on our Instagram chat staying in touch with each other all the time so I would go to bed and when I woke up in the morning I would have a complete stream feed of all the ideas and all the concepts and then when it was my day I used to send my version to them so I think the biggest thing from styling hair perspective is making sure that you really plan ahead and plan time we made all of the hair pieces for our section and it did take about two months from start to finish so it's about coming up with that concept and idea and then working out realistically are you able to be able to complete that in the time frame that you have so we did it yeah <laughs> Hi. Um, yeah, I think it's really the main thing is work with the right people. You know, I'm really lucky. These guys I love, I've worked with forever. I'm super proud to stand next to them and be part of them. But find people that are like you and work together. It's all about collaboration. You know, what I bring to the table is different to what Ricardo does, to Janelle, to be. So it's really about having that flexibility, working with people that you believe in. And as Ricardo said, you know, money's an object, right? We all want more. And... <laughs> They all giggle then. Um, <laughs> but sometimes lack of money is creativity, you know, and a lot of time, you know, we're really lucky. A lot of the time we get to work with a lot of really fabulous clothing and stuff like that. But actually, to Janelle's point, we wanted to really do something different. So we wanted to work on it all. You know, we're used to working on hair and we thought we'd just show you through some of the wardrobe because we've been making loads of it. So I'm going to bring you over here. You have to excuse all the mess because we're backstage. Um, but really what we did is we went around, as they said, to like local uh, thrift stores and stuff like that. So I live in L.A., so I was going to out of the closet in Hollywood, which is down the road. I'm just buying stuff that nobody wanted, like all the plastic toys on here. Ricardo would go to an amazing flea market in New York and buy them all. And we'd just buy them in bulk and we'd share them out and we'd sew them onto things. Um, our crazy shoes down here. Um, some of them came from thrift store. These were on clearance, not even just sale, but full on clearance. So we were kind of buying all the stuff that other people didn't want. So it didn't go to waste. And then as for some of the clothes, I'm going to show you this little number here. These girls can't get enough of them. 
So everybody's been dying to get in our clothes. So this was actually Ricardo's jacket. It was on one of our models. It was his jacket. Him and his wife spent a lot of time painting it, embellishing it, taking these elephants on there. Um, and really amazing. I mean, this kind of stuff, you know, it was just an old denim jacket that Janelle had found in a, in a thrift store. And we just kind of made all this from old bits of yarn and bits of trim that were really kind of crazy. Again, this, our favorite piece, this big bird number. Um, again, just getting inspiration. You know, Janelle found a picture of a, uh, probably a ludicrously priced jacket on Instagram. And we just thought it was the coolest thing. And we were like, we've got just the girl for it. And she sat at home and made it in a day, which is really kind of, well. <laughs> Like a it's week. A, a week then <laughs> she just pretended it was a day like just knock this up but I think it is that kind of process and you know if you're doing a shoot you know for instance Ricardo's an amazing photographer you know work with people find local photographers we live in an Instagram world you can find local people to work with you know I know <laughs> yeah for free I know some of you want to enter Naha and stuff like that and it gets expensive well go and find people that want to have a passion project nothing is more collaborative than passion together yeah. so you know if you've got someone that's a photographer work with them if you've got someone that's good at clothes work with them find a great makeup artist and really just gel together the great thing about social media is there's a whole currency in no money find people that have the same views as you find people that you want to work with work with people because you want to yeah. and i think you can create amazing things for no money some of the best shoots i've done have been for nothing and just on passion projects. You know, and everyone thinks a lot of the stuff that you see on our Instagrams is really expensive shoots, and some of it is. Don't get me wrong, we're, we're, we lead a very good life and get to work with some amazing, famous photographers, but also a lot of it is just stuff that we've done for ourselves. And I think, you know, find those people and make the effort and get together, become a, become a gang like us, and uh, you can create really great things. And, and and be part of the world hood. Right. Embrace everybody. Create it, your own world hood. That's yeah. Right. Do it yourself. And you know what? Make your own movement. Love one another. Work with people because it's passion, not money. We yeah. can earn money doing hair. We don't have to earn money doing shoots, doing shows. It's about doing it for yourself, doing it from the heart, and having a great time. And just with support. That you love. Yeah. And support yeah. one another. Yeah. And most importantly, have fun. So I hope you get to see some of our show. Enjoyed world hood. Enjoy World uh, Congress, enjoy Modern Salon, enjoy everybody. Um, and come and say hi, bye.